lo shoro mi o koro mi aye o se mi loro doro buru duru guru neni me sokun o so mi la de emi lekun la sayade mo shoro do gogo mo re de 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 le ni lekun la sode mo ma le re gere gede ni bi ti adere gede ge mo da mi le de re de mefa mo de mi le de mo de je ninu alara da barabara ni bi abanga mo babi la da sa mo da bi jaina kreni he diama mo de bi ti adanda mo de bi ti adela dera sonson mo de bi ti adala da gungun lo de mo de bi ti bibiri di bi dinde mo de bi ti mo ti de mo de bi di adela badabala batande mo de bi ti awon alara bada bi otun won da bi bun tinde mo de bi ti awon alara baba bati ya tinde won ti de be mo ma de be na da bi awon de la nda mo de bi ti awon elere de nde mo de bi ti awon olorun alagbade nde mo de bi ti awon eni adan tu lo sun 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 mo de be ni bi ti won gbe mo da da bi da bi da bi mo wa de be mo na sun dun 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 mo da won gate mo de re de 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 mo de bi ti mo de alatada ni mo nje adiridi ni mo nje edere dere mo nje edere dara 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 ni mo nje elerin dara 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 na maja majo mo ja 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 mo da bi le di je nje mo da 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 mo da bi le jurugudu mo da da mo da bi da bi jare gede gede mo da ja ja mo da un ka dun ala da dun ala de mo da bi kerekete mo da bi kerekete mo da bi kerekete gede mo da bi krata ta 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 mo wa sese ni bi ti mo jare dede emi ni kristi emi ni menike emi ni krista emi ni kristi emi ni farasta emi ni fristi ala ko aste emi ni kristi emi ni krist emi ni crossed christ 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 i am me i pass me i don't pass me i don't pass me i don't pass where men no fit pass me i don't pass where many 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 men even many many men many plenty men even men we love my papa even men we love god even god we be my own god even god we be my own king even god we be my own father me i don't pass where many men no fit come where many men even many holy men even many righteous men even men many men we love my papa even many men when my papa come upon when my papa put his spirit upon when my papa strengthen when my papa talk to even mighty men even great men even great men great men where them no fit come to me i don't come to where them no fit reach me i don't reach where them no fit come me i don't come yeah. even where angels no fit come yeah. even where like 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 michael no fit come mm. Mm-hmm. Even where Gabriel no fit come, mm-hmm. even Lucifer, where disobey my papa, where desire this place no fit come. Mm-hmm. For you see me, I don't come there. Mm-hmm. Me, I don't come there. Now honor I receive from my papa. For my papa give me honor. My papa give me glory. My papa bless me with himself. For me, I don't enter into my papa. I enter into my papa. I enter the place where normal men no be enter. I enter the place of great swearing. Even the 
place of great oath. I don't enter into my papa. As you see me so, now inside my God I did. Mm. Now inside my God I did. I don't enter into God. I don't enter into God. I did inside God though. I am Christ. Now maybe that's one where them anoint. Where my papa anoint. He don't anoint me for to reveal him. For to talk him. Now me be the only person. We get that authentic right. We get that first privilege. To talk of my papa. And I want to tell you of my papa. Even my God. I want to talk about my God. I want to talk like my God. Because my papa give me right. To talk about him. You go hear about my God. From my mouth. Even these seasons. I come to you as somebody where they talk God. I go talk God to you. And you go hear God. You go hear God. Oh, You go hear God. Because he don't send me to come talk of him. Even to you. Now me Jesus they talk. Now me Christ they talk. Now me the son of God they talk. Can you worship the Lord here? Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you all. I thank everyone, ministers of the gospel, thank you. All the elders, the ministers of the gospel. Um, I don't want this anointing to wane. Just understand, I, I want to greet you and I appreciate you, but I will, it's like I will affect the spirit. Can I go further? Please, thank you, Jesus. Uh, go, go at sundry times in diverse manners. Speak in time past unto the fathers by the prophets at in this last day spoken unto us by his son whom he had appointed heir of all things and by whom also he made the walls who being the brightness of his glory express image of his person upholding all things by the word of his power. When he had by himself purged our sins, sat down on the right hand of the majesty on high. He sat down on the right hand of the majesty on high. Being made so much better than the angels as he had by inheritance obtain a more excellent name than they. For unto which of the angels said he at tiny time, Thou art my son, this day have I begotten thee again. I will be to him a father, and he shall be to me a son. And again, when he bringeth in the first begotten into the world, he said, Let all the angels of God worship him. And of the angels he said, Who maketh his angels spirits, ministers, flames of fire. But unto the son he said, Thy throne, O God. Is forever and ever, except of righteousness, is the scepter of your kingdom. You, you love righteousness <clears throat> and hated iniquity. Everybody say amen. amen. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. I'm not hearing you say amen. amen. You, you loved righteousness and what do you do? You hated iniquity and God... Therefore, God, even thy God, hath anointed thee with a oil of gladness above thy fellows. He has anointed you, not so, Pastor, with the oil of gladness above thy Fellow, we understand. I have said it here that the oil of gladness is God's kind of anointing. Amen. Shall hallelujah. Do you agree with me? What did I just say? The oil of gladness is what? God's kind of anointing or the anointing of God. 
Amen. Uh, you all understand? It means the oil carries gladness. The oil carries gladness. So the oil is a conveyor of gladness. So you can find gladness in that oil. That's what makes it peculiar. The oil of gladness above your fellows. Now, of course, God wouldn't have anointed Jesus with the oil of gladness if Jesus had been hated iniquity. But Jesus love righteousness. So it's clear righteousness is God's love. Hmm? Love righteousness. So what is God's love? It's righteousness. So the love of God is the righteousness of God. So what God is in love with is righteousness. Of course, what God is in love with here is what is the perfect will of God. Righteousness is from one level to another. Everybody shout hallelujah. Righteousness can be believed. Righteousness can be loved. You can believe righteousness. You can also fall in love with righteousness. But you don't love righteousness. Except you have believed righteousness. So there is a season of loving righteousness. So faith is the believing in righteousness. What is righteousness? Everything is Righteousness all true. How many of you know that? From the start to the finish is righteousness. Only that they are in dimensions. So you have loved righteousness. Jesus came into a place where he fell in love with righteousness. A man who has come into the love of righteousness. I wonder what for love of righteousness is called the love of the truth. Hmm. When you have come into loving the truth. Listen, listen. You can't love the truth to start with. You have to believe the truth. Even after you are a believer. Amen. There was a believing we did that got us born again. It's a believing without knowing righteousness. It's a believing we did just in believing. We didn't know what we have believed. And that was enough to quicken your spirit and makes it Christ. But there is yet another believing you will do. You will believe when you know. So the first knowing will begin to know is to know the first righteousness. Hmm. The first righteousness is Christ. Christ is the first righteousness. Both Christ and God, all of them are called God's own righteousness. When it's the righteousness of God, it begins with Knowing Christ. Because Christ is God. Christ is God's product. Christ is an offspring of God. Christ is the righteousness of God. That's why no one can come to God except you are righteous. You are righteous in Christ. You are Christ. So you can be born again. When you are born again, you are Christ in your spirit. Without knowing who you are. 
So I can be born again and I am not doing things that is in alignment with my spirit. And listen, the day you got born again, the righteousness of your spirit was not being obeyed. Why? Because the soul fell below Christ. The soul fell below Christ. And you will all agree with me, even Adam didn't have Christ's soul. It's got living soul. So living soul, amen. Shout hallelujah. I'm not hearing you say amen. amen. Living soul, soul. What is a living soul? The soul type. Living soul. The law of the soul of Abraham was a soulish law. But Christ's soul is a spiritual soul. So we have Christ, who is the spiritual. God will want me to explain to everyone here. So I'm doing the coming walk. The Christ soul. You didn't come to church with Christ soul. Your spirit is Christ spirit. But you need to learn Christ's soul. And they don't teach you Christ's soul to start with. You have a dimension of soul in the cause of Christ. There is a soul dimension in the, in the, in the cause of Christ. The soul dimension is the milk of the word. Where you still have yourself being taught and you are still a man you are not yet spiritual <laughs> you are not yet spiritual you are a man milk makes a man a man that is not yet spiritual man there are good men in church and they are not yet spiritual They are not yet spiritual. They are milkmen. When we say milkmen, milk is good. Hmm. Milk, the milk, good milk of the world will make good believer. Hmm. If you can find very, very good believers in churches, good Christians, but they are not spiritual. To be spiritual, is for the soul to be Christ. Oh. Amen. Amen. But that milk, look at me, has gotten it additives, ingredients that can make you test the spiritual. That's what good milk does. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. I'm not hearing you say amen. amen. So, when you give birth to a spiritual child of a baby, a baby Christian, a baby Christian can't start with spiritual food. Give him milk. Let him eat, drink milk very well. Give him milk. Let him stay on milk. It will make him good. There were saints in the body of Christ that we are good men. Barnabas was a good man. A good man can identify a spiritual man. Because Barnabas was good. He exalted the brethren to cleave to God in Antioch. And that was why he was able to fetch Paul. To be good is to locate the spiritual. Now it wasn't difficult for Paul to be spiritual because a quick work was done in him. How? All those encounter, all those blinding of the eyes. Paul suffered even at new birth. There is no spiritual attainment without suffering. Just as he was getting born again, they blinded his eyes. He wasn't seen. That, was, that humbled him. He 
Immediately he got born again. When his eyes were open, through an ass laying on hands, in Damascus, he preached Christ to the Damascenes. And they let him down. Since then, a man, the day he got born again, they began to persecute him. Seizing that he got born again. While he was a baby Christian. Am I helping to get into it? Are you, do you get me? He entered battles with evil spirits. That tells you that that was accelerated. It's not going to happen to everybody. Because it's got a commission of the dispensation of revelation, the gospel. So, Paul became spiritual very fast. He stayed in Arabia for three years. After that, Barnabas went to Pekin. He went to, he went to where? Maybe Tarsus to fetch Paul. Come to Antioch. I believe he did that by revelation. He had of him. Many other saints were running from him. Now, that is why to trust such a person who was a murderer, who was a killer, you must have something inside you. Ah! Eh, Kunde? Am I communicating to you? You cannot remove the spot of a leopard. Paul is Paul. Saul is Saul. He won't change. Pharisee. That's a carnal believer. Even though they are good, but they are not good enough. So for God to choose Barnabas, you remember while they were in uh, <laughs> Acts chapter, chapter 1, they were looking for the person who would succeed. Who, sir? And I can tell you, the heart of Matthias, who was the second person nominated by the apostles, because the next in line, in the 72 order. That tells you that Barnabas knew Jesus face to face. Wow. Matthias knew Jesus face to face. Everybody shout hallelujah. They were there. Am I communicating to you? Everybody say because the criteria for choosing the, the apostles of the Lamb, the 12 apostles, they must be with Jesus since the day of John the Baptist. The man must be a river of where? Jordan. Jordan. It means Barnabas was there. Yes, Barnabas was where, sir? And Barnabas was there where? On the mountain of Olive when Jesus was living. But Barnabas wasn't chosen. Was Barnabas heart not good enough? I felt God wanted Barnabas to do a special job to work with Paul. Escort him for a while. Go and join yourself to him. Barnabas gave Paul confidence. Because he was with Barnabas, you know, God was merciful. He moved Barnabas to give to the apostle lots of money that when during the time the apostle needed help, are you getting me? He supplied them something that all of the about is a son of consolation. What do you talk about it? Son of consolation. Ah! This one knows how to answer God. When everybody was keeping their home back, what happened to Barnabas? He did the unthinkable. He did what Napoleon could not do. And what happened? The apostles were consoled. It was a terrible time. Barnabas came handy. Then that was the time when Ananias and Sapphira saw the glory. Ah. We too we can take the glory of Barnabas. If Barnabas is son of consolation, what is we our name? Huh? Shout hallelujah. But we thank God so that when Barnabas was joining himself to Saul, look at me. The 12 apostles did not talk. If Barnabas can go there. Yeah. Because a legacy has been laid. Yeah. So you can see you need the milk of the word to make you good. Now, that goodness, look at me. <laughs> Thank you. Nothing is good except it's spiritual. And goodness are in degree. And that is why when we say something is good, meaning something 
is what, sir? It's in God's line. It's in the line of God. Something that can respond to God. A soul that can respond to God. Now, there are works. Look at me. I can give arms. I can bless brethren. But I may not respond. When, when God calls. What is good before God? Is faith. Fight the good fight of faith. Faith is good. Nothing is good enough until he's doing faith. That tells you that there was a good faith in man. So there is a faith milks deliver that makes souls good. We have, a, we have disciples like Philip, Stephen, Nicanor. We have about, is it seven disciples? They were good. Men of good report. Hmm. Honest report. What made them so good milk? Then the cause of being spiritual is another ball game entirely is to know Christ. And knowing Christ. Christ is a complex complex cause of faith. Christ is not man. Christ is not a man of our realm. Christ is the new man. The new man every Christian should have. Learn Christ. Christ is the new man. Every soul should undertake learning Christ. Christ is, a, is the new man. That's why, listen to me. Look at me. Look at me. So the beginning of God's knowledge is learning Christ. At times it says in the scripture, knowledge of Christ, knowledge of God, knowledge of God. When you read it very well, it's not talking about God's own knowledge. It's just the beginning of knowing God. And the beginning of knowing God is knowing Christ. Well, if you can know Christ, you can know God. Hear me, every one of you. Now, why knowledge? Seizing of Christ's deposit in a soul or the learning of Christ can never be without revelation. Without revelation. Revelation means understanding. Christ can never be understood. Christ can never be learned if understanding is not opened. So understanding must be open for Christ to be received. And why receiving Christ do Christ? Because there is something in Christ that is very key that causes a man to cease from being a mere man. You can remain as a man while you are a saint. Things will not change. You can be good. You can be wonderful. Hallelujah. In fact, there are good Christians. Many of them are. We have good brothers. God has dealt with many men. They are wonderful. But some of them may not have capacity to learn Christ. What I mean capacity is not in the spirit but the soul design. At times God will, will tell some people they won't allow them. Even let me tell you, there are a whole lot of people that will not learn Christ on earth except the world to come. God won't allow you to even teach them until they passed on to the other side. It's not because God is not interested. It's your soul design. There, now, there are some of our fathers, look at me, that 
enjoy other ways of God's move, but they couldn't bring them into understanding of Christ. The world was close. Many of them studied all night. Some of them are better than us, even in character. But they won't open Christ to them because there is something in their soul. Why? Because dispensation differs. Say dispensation. All of you shout it, every one of you. Now there are, upon men, there are certain things a dispensation may not learn, may not be able to accommodate. We have lot in the spirit. Daniel wanted to know more. The angel told Daniel, no, 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 you go stand in your lot. Leave these things, let it be sealed to the end. It's not everything that will happen. Lots are, what, sir, are different. We have different lots and they come in different seasons. And in a generation, some soul can come before their time. Yes. They will be born, are you getting me? A man in 20 generations, they can send him 300 years backward. And he will see what the future. He will have a genetics to partake of the future. Why? Why these things? Satan is also working. Works on so blindness upon heart. Maybe you don't know satanic work are also very expensive. To take out Satan, it has to be done with wisdom. You know, it's not everybody who will have patience to wait for ministry the way you are waiting. Start church, you do something quickly, open the flag, get the warning, and what happened? Bring the musician, open the flyers, and all that. Things okay. Why wait in what spirit? They belong to a dispensation. There is a way things are being done. How many of you know that fruit needs to ripe before you pluck them? Some people are not yet ripening, and you can't bring them into the harvest. When you go out there, some people are not ripe for knowledge. And there's nothing you will do. When you bring them back, they, get, they, get, they, they leave away. I don't know. All of you, you are wasting your time. Yeah, I'm coming. Something is, has happened to the mind. There's just a blockage by God, even by Satan. God is not willing to open the door. Satan is also holding him. But when they say somebody is ripening for to be open, nothing will stop it. The person will be, you see, it takes time. For souls to be ready. Must talk with. How many of you are getting what I'm teaching today? Thank you, Lord. For Lord, that is to, to you it is given to know these things. To you it is given to understand these things. To you, even to you that is here. Even to you that have been brought close. Even to many like you in this generation. It's given to understand these secrets. Even these mysteries. Even these lights that are held even in the book. That are held even in the scriptures of the apostles and prophets. To you there is an ordination. Even a sovereign ordination nation of our God. Even a 
a sovereign declaration according to times and seasons, even dispensation in the calibration of events of things, even by God. To you it is given. To you it is given. To you it is given. Therefore, key in. Therefore, give yourself even to these things because the blockage is not for you. Because the limitation is not for you. Because to you is given to know Christ and to understand God. Now, uh, there are unto you his giving, but unto them. <laughs> huh? Jesus says some people are not giving, but to you he's giving to know the mystery of the kingdom. But some people not to. I will speak to them in parables. So Jesus understood his audience. So if I were Jesus, I would make a lot of mistakes. I need to be born at the right time. What will be my mistake? I might be speaking to the people in the valley. Yes, sir. Jesus Christ is a revelation and all of them will be looking at me. What do we need this for? And in fact, and do you know God has to even help us for example, when you are revelatory in nature. Are you listening? When you are very, very revelatory, you are a man who carry revelation. Uh, they determine where you go. Because at times you can spoil things. And some of us, if we, have not, we are not yet developed to condescend and teach milk, we will teach them revelation when it's not necessary. And many of you, by the time you teach the revelation finish, you will cause problems for yourself. They will call you a heretic. We don't want him here. And so some of us, we, we, we bite. You go to a place, look at me, then you want to give them the eye salve of God. Today, I'll be teaching you about God's dimension of resurrection. <laughs> resurrection are in two places, two, two faces. There's a difference between ascending to heaven and ascending to the throne. <laughs> but I want to tell you that you need to get to the throne. So when we talk about resurrection upon the throne, it's a different resurrection because it takes 35 steps to get there. And all of them are level of meeknesses, which many of you don't know. And there are all there because in these are uh, these steps I can I I I I I, I apportion them into segments. I divide them into seven, so there are five. All of them are dimensions of immortality. So what happens to those people, sir? <laughs> I remember sometime I went to Oweri, is he Nugu Oweri, teaching Anglican priest. I had taught to a degree, then they gave me a time for question and answer. I was answering. Then one of the person that followed me wanted me to just cut a revelation. The person that asked me, what of? <laughs> Can you teach us about Revelation chapter 2, the one who was closer with the sun and the moon under our feet? <laughs> I said, that is not what we are here for today. <laughs> the one elderly priest Look at me. It means you are well guided. <laughs> I, if I open scripture, are you listening to me? They will say this one has not learned. He's just talking Ipa Ipa. Revelation. Is that understood? How many of you are blessed this afternoon? <laughs> so I, I want you to see all these things some of us may be here, you are not getting what they've been teaching. I'm interested in that. Shout hallelujah. So there are levels. So righteousness. Say righteous. Righteous. How can somebody be righteous before God? No, not by the works of the law, but by the hearing of faith. So the first faith lesson for righteousness. I'm not talking about 
confession of righteousness of God, I am the, that one has its place. That is milk. That is milk pattern. But I'm talking about solely inheriting righteousness. A right soul is a soul that is changing. A right soul, right, turning me to righteousness is a soul that is turning, turning from flesh to spirit. And I can tell you, you can, if you are carnal, they can turn you one day to be spiritual. Just one day is not enough to make you spiritual. You turn gradually. You turn gradually. You turn. And that is why it will take teaching of the word. Amen. Say teaching of the word. And what again? Leading of the spirit. For every revelation, there is a spirit condition. The spirit condition is called the way. For every truth, no revealed truth is void of its path. And the path is in the demonstration of the Holy Spirit around the person that is hearing truth. Now at times it may come before truth. Because the spirit was on the waters brooding before the word came. And at times the word will come, the spirit follows. To pick you up, to lead you. So that you can gain the truth you have had. So to do the truth, grace is given. The grace is not confession. It's the wisdom of the living. Because it's the Holy Ghost who knows what is in the truth. Yes, sir. God has spoken to you. Yes, it interprets the world of truth. Around you is Holy Spirit explaining what it means for truth that is coming. When we say faith of the Son, faith, 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 it's not because somebody is not walking at all. You are not living by faith. No, what am I living by faith? No, that is not it. That's not it. It's not because you don't walk. What I know, I'm not doing anything because I'm not led to do anything. You walk the whole Lagos, you won't be spiritual. Now, some of us are breaking certain laws. When it is obvious, Holy Ghost has not come. Holy Ghost has not instructed don't do anything. I would like you to know some people want to do what is not.